Welcome to F&W's Qualcomm training. I'm going to show you a couple of things of how to navigate on the screen and how to use the touch screen first. First of all, this is the settings. Everything is touch screen, so you can adjust your brightness. When you're driving at night, most drivers turn the brightness to down as low as they want to. But if you t can't see the screen, make sure you turn the brightness up all the way. You can also adjust the volume. When you get a new load, the Qualcomm will talk to you. And at night time, you probably want to turn that down. So that is the settings. This is the home button. Anytime you're on a screen and you want to go back to the main area, you hit the little house. The main thing we're going to deal with today is the messaging and the driver login. Before you do anything, you must log in. So you touch the screen and it's asking for your driver ID. To type in your driver ID, you have to pull up the keyboard. That's right by the house. You touch the keyboard and then you type in your driver ID which you have to get from dispatch it's usually your first initial and your last name but you need to get that from dispatch along with your password that's usually a four digit code and right here after you punch it in, you have to make the keyboard go away so you can see the rest of the screen. So you touch the keyboard button on the bottom right, and now you can hit OK. It's asking if you want to uh, assign some driving time. Normally you'll say no. Now it shows your status that you are logged in, you're active, it has your driver ID, and what time and date that you logged in. So you, whenever you're done doing something, you just go back to your home screen. Now that you're logged in, you can check your messages. Right now you have no messages, so you can you can go back to your home screen. Okay, just to review, we have logged in, and our status is active on the driver login screen. You can hit your home button to go back to your home screen. If you notice, we have five unread messages, so if you touch messaging, we have one load here and it's going to send five messages because we already have the backhaul on here. First message gives you your load number. Next one says where to pick it up. The stop one is Augusta. You're going to Naples, Florida. And then your backhaul is out of Lakeland, Florida coming back to Augusta. If you open the first message, you just touch it to open it. It's going to tell you the load number, the number of stops in your loaded miles <clears throat> sometimes there will be loaded instructions and you have to touch here to scroll up and down this just gives you general information about the shipper it will have your loading appointment this one loads at 7 a.m. on 924 at Augusta Newsprint So anytime you add a message, you can go back by hitting your home screen and go back to messaging. You can get all of your dispatch information off of the Qualcomm. Everything should be on here. So if you want more information on Augusta, you touch Augusta and that pulls up that stop. It tells you your loading time, 10 a.m. on 9.22. and you scroll down you find your pickup number 6001 so just be familiar that you have to scroll all the way down sometimes to find out more information
So with this one load, it has sent us five messages. Now you have to send your status updates to dispatch for every stop. So stop one, you're going to have to do a stop arrival and a stop departure. Stop two, when you arrive at Naples, you'll do a stop arrival and a stop departure. For each stop, you'll have to send two messages. So we're going to go ahead and pretend like we're at the ship or at Augusta. So to do a stop arrival, you pull up your messages. Depending on where you are, you touch that message. So we're at Augusta, stop one. Open that message. Hit reply twice. You have to be patient sometimes. Once it pops up to this screen, you're going to hit change macro. And now we just arrived at the shipper. So you have to choose which macro you want to send. And for our stop arrival, you do 01 stop arrival. And that will automatically fill in the date and the time and the load number. You don't have to punch anything in. We just arrived there, so you hit send. Would you like to send this message? Yes. So we're at the shipper, we're backed up to the dock. Now once you're loaded, you pull up your message again. We're still in Augusta, so you touch your Augusta stop. And we're going to depart. So you open up Augusta, hit reply twice, once, twice. Select change macro. And now that we're loaded and leaving, that's called departure, so you select 03, stop departure. Touch the screen one time, it'll pop up. Notice it has the date and the time automatically. Now, our original dispatch didn't have a trailer, so let's say that we picked up a trailer. So you touch the blank. In order to punch in your trailer number, you have to pull up your keyboard. Touch your keyboard and punch in your trailer number. They always start with 5-3 and you never do a dash or a space so we'll do 5-3 five, 5-3-1 three, five, three, check it and make sure you have it right. If you don't you can delete and then retype it. And Once you have your trailer number in there you want your keyboard to go away again. So you touch the bottom and that'll close the keyboard and then you hit send send message yes after you do any of your macros you always go back to your home screen and then you can go to your messaging so this load picks up in Augusta and goes to Naples and we already did our stop arrival and our stop departure in Augusta. If you want to find out more information about Naples then you open that message and it will tell you you're supposed to deliver stop 2 in Naples, Florida and it has the date and the time. So this says they're open from 9 a.m. to 12 noon on the 23rd. You have to scroll down to see the whole message. There's your address. Sometimes we'll have a contact name. There's a phone number to call if you need directions. There's your pickup number. So you have to scroll all the way down if you're looking for something. So you can always go back to your home screen, go to messaging. So we did our stop arrival and our stop departure for Augusta. Now when you arrive at Naples, right when you get there, open your message and do your stop arrival. Don't wait until you're unloaded. You want to arrive as soon as you arrive. So you hit reply twice.
and then you hit change macro and you'll do 01 stop arrival and you don't have to fill in the date or time it knows automatically and it knows where you are so then you just hit send you you have arrived now when you do this it's going to send information straight to our customer and if you're supposed to be there at 9 a.m. if you get there at 8 a.m. and you forget to do your message and you do it at 930 then our customer is going to think you're delivering late so try to do your stop arrival as soon as you're on the property and you stop driving Now that you're in Naples and you're empty, you've been unloaded, then you have to do stop departure. So you open up Naples. When you're empty, you hit reply twice. Then you hit change macro. Now that you're empty and leaving Naples, you're going to do stop departure 03. This pulls up your message. If you did switch trailers, you can put that information here. If you drop the trailer, you touch right there, and pull up your keyboard punch in the trailer number you dropped close the keyboard and then hit send okay back to our example we arrived at Augusta we departed Augusta I want to show one big problem a lot of people have been doing when you hit reply twice for your arrival in Augusta notice when you hit reply twice you have to be patient until the screen comes up then you hit change macro don't ever use O2. If you do arrive depart, which is O2, it doesn't work with our computer system. Make sure you use O1 or O3. If you ever mess up and you hit the wrong button and you don't know what to do, just hit the home screen. And go back to your home, open your messaging, and start again. Now we did our Naples, Florida. Now we're ready for our backhaul, so we're going to go to Lakeland, Florida. If you need more information, then you open the Lakeland message. It'll tell you that it's stop 3. You're picking up on the 23rd between 12 noon and 1800. You have to scroll down to get the address, the phone number, and if it's a broker load, when you scroll down to stop notes, scroll down it will say call broker it'll have the broker's phone number and the broker load reference number so you must call the broker before you go over to Lakeland Florida so once you're in Lakeland you open the Lakeland message we have to do stop arrival and stop departure. So you hit reply twice. Hit change macro. Now we are in Lakeland, Florida, so we're going to arrive. So you do a 01 stop arrival. Hit send. Do you want to send the message? Yes. 
Okay, so we're at Lakeland, Florida. Now we're loaded and we're leaving, so we're going to do a stop departure. So you open Lakeland, Florida. Hit reply twice. Change macro. Notice if you go too fast, you have to be patient. Okay, so we're going to leave Lakeland, Florida, so you do your stop departure. If it's a drop and hook, then you want to touch the screen where it says drop trailer, pull up your keyboard, punch in the trailer number that you're dropping, and then punch in the trailer number that you're picking up. Close your keyboard and hit send. You can see that you're telling dispatch that you dropped 535312 and you picked up your loaded trailer 530707. Hit send. I'm going to delete these out because we're not using them. If you need to make a change, pull it back up, pull up your keyboard, and that's delete right there. Hit send. Would you like to send the message? Yes. If you have trouble with your fingers hitting the buttons, sometimes people will use a pen. That might work better for you. So we've done our stop arrival and departure in Augusta, Naples, and Lakeland. Now we're back to Augusta. When you get to Augusta, you open your Augusta message. Make sure it says stop four, because now we're making our delivery. You hit reply twice. change macro. Now that we're back in Augusta, we're going to do stop arrival. And you don't have to fill in any of the blanks. If you ever have to punch in a load number or a date or a time, you're doing something wrong. If you think you're on the wrong load, just go back to your home screen. Start over. Go to messaging. Okay, where am I? Augusta, Georgia. So open Augusta. Hit reply twice. Hit change macro. We just arrived, so hit stop arrival. Send. Do you want to send the message? Yes. Alright, now that we're empty in Augusta, We want to do our departure, so open Augusta, hit reply twice, change macro, do 03, stop departure. Remember, never do 02, that doesn't work, so do 03. When you're empty, hit send. Yes. So for each stop, you have to send two messages. Stop arrival, that's the time that you arrived at the stop. Stop departure, that's the time you're leaving. On a delivery time like this Naples, deliver at 9 o'clock, pay attention to that and try to do your message beforehand as soon as you're on the property.
now that we're back in Augusta, you have five messages in your inbox. I recommend every time that you're done, you want to start over fresh and delete those messages. If you hit delete all, it's going to delete all the messages that have been opened. Okay, on this example, you were given your load from Augusta to Naples and you had your backhaul information before you even started. So they all came over at one time. Sometimes you're only going to see Augusta to Naples and you won't have your backhaul yet. When, you, when this happens, you'll have three messages in your inbox. When you get your backhaul, you're going to get the first three again and two more. So then you'll have eight messages in your inbox. But to send your status updates to dispatch, you just have to touch on the message where you are. So if you're at Lakeland, then go to your messaging, find Lakeland, open that message, and send the appropriate status update. So now that we're done, we're empty, we're back in Augusta, you have a bunch of messages. You want to clear them out so you can start fresh on your next trip. So we will hit delete all. Are you sure you want to delete all red messages? Yes. Now our inbox is empty and you're ready for a new load. Just remember you can go to settings to adjust the brightness and the volume. If you're not logged in, see my status is active. If you're not logged in, none of this will work. So if you're not getting a load from dispatch, check to make sure you're logged in. Remember, whenever you're done, you just hit the home screen. Now we'll check our messages. No message. If you want to send a message to dispatch, open your messaging, then you hit compose. And then you pick zero, 00, free form message. Now to type, you have to pull up your keyboard. And then you can type space, I am ready. I'm ready for next load. So you can type a message to dispatch. I'm ready for next load and then you have to close your keyboard and then hit send. Do you want to send this message? Yes. Now if you want to see what you have sent out, that is your outbox. It shows that you sent a message that said, I am ready for next load. The date and the time. Go back to your inbox. Now please remember that the Qualcomm doesn't replace your dispatcher. If you're going to Florida and it tells you to pick up your backhaul in Texas, don't go empty to Texas. You need to pick up the phone and call dispatch and find out if they really want you to go empty to Texas. If um, We still need you to call dispatch and confirm information, but the main purpose of this is we don't have to tell you the address, the phone number, all the small details you can get from your Qualcomm. And please remember to always pick up the phone if you have any questions call Patrick, Tony, Bill, Adam, Brad, call anyone in dispatch and they can help you if you have any questions. If you feel like you hit a wrong button, don't panic. Just go back to your home screen. Or if you delete your load information, call dispatch and re we can resend it to you. Thank you.